Hi, good day. And I want to praise God for today and I want to bring greetings in the wonderful name of the Lord. Today we are going to look into something that God has impressed in my spirit. God will keep you safe in times of crisis. I want you to know in this world they are we are living in perilous time. In the time that we face things around the whole world, we need to understand what God is going to do in your life and in my life. And God is your protection from all harm. And there is assurance of promise that God is going to give to you and to me. Let's look at the scriptures that Bible has got for us. You know, as I said, God will keep you safe in times of crisis. That's my title. And in the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 33 says, But whoever listen to me will live securely and be free from the fear of danger. And be free from the fear of danger. I want you to see what God is doing in the midst of us. All right. Then you see... Um, we would be we would like to stay free from every harm we want to see ourselves free from every harm and this is very important in this dangerous time and their violence terrorism tsunami hurricane and also virus god said about his promise of protection but you got just to listen to this and let the bible speak and let's listen to what the bible speaks about protection in the book of Psalms 91, verse, six, verse 9 to verse 16, Because you made the Lord your refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place, verse 10, No harm will come to you. No plague will come near your tent. Verse 11, For he who gave his angels order concerning you will protect you from all your ways. Verse 12, They shall support you with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Verse 13, you will trade upon lions and cobras, and you will trample upon young lion and serpent. Verse 14, because he is lovingly devoted to me, I will deliver him and I will protect him, for he knows my name. You need to know the name of the Lord. Verse 15, when he calls out to me, I will answer him, and he will be, with me in trouble. I will rescue him and give him honor. Verse 16. I will satisfy him with long life and show my salvation. Some wonderful promise about God's protection. Let's just see some of them. Number one, he says, no harm will come to you. Number two, no disaster will come upon you. No plague will come upon you and your home or your house. Number three, the angels will safeguard you. Number four, you will be safe from all the lions and cobras and serpents and viruses and the oppressors, the devil. Next, number four, God will rescue you. God will deliver you. Number five. Number six, God will protect you and he will be with you in trouble. And God, Jesus, will answer all your prayer. Now, number seven, God will deliver you. I want you to know God is here to set you free. Why? That is why God's protection for you is important. Number one, I'm going to give you about nine points, nine important areas, why God is going to secure you, why you need the protection, and what is God going to do at this time when you talk about the crisis, all of them are facing and all of them are going through number one make the most high your dwelling place make god first because he is your refuge number two because he loves you and he loves me he will rescue you and me number two number three i will protect him for he acknowledged my name you know this is what we need to do god is going to protect all those who call the name of jesus all those who acknowledge the name of jesus number four he will he will call upon me and i will answer number four i want you to when the moment you start calling god and god is going to answer you psalms 34 verse 7 says 
The angel of the Lord encamp around those who fear him and will deliver them. Psalms 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he will deliver them. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 26 says, He who fears the Lord has a secure fortress and for his children he will be the refuge. I want you to see how God, you know, those who fear the Lord. This is something that we need to acknowledge the name of the Lord. Those who fear the Lord. Some people don't even want to acknowledge Jesus in your workplace, even in your home. You are so embarrassed about the name of Jesus. God, I want you to know, you will be embarrassed. You will be the loser. But I want you to see the Bible says, you know, he who fears the Lord has a secure fortress. Not only for him, for his children also. Number five, fear the Lord. Number five, fear the Lord. It will bring the angels to your defense. When you fear the Lord, the Bible says in, in, in Psalms 91, you know, when you fear the Lord, the angels will come to your defense and it will provide refuge for your children. Psalms 84 verse 11 says, For the Lord your God is sun and shield. For the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good things will He withdraw from those who walk blamelessly. You know, God is asking us to walk blamelessly before Him. You know, I want you to live righteously, blamelessly before Him. And God is going to do that in your life. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 21. No harm will come to the righteous, but the wicked will have full of trouble. The wicked will have full of trouble. Number six, walk blamelessly and uprightly before the Lord. Walk blamelessly and uprightly before the Lord. For God is your shield to you. No harm will come to the righteous. Because the wicked will have stack a problem. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7, 7 says, When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he will make even his enemy live at peace with him. What a wonderful thing God is talking about. This is a time that you need to make peace with God. This is a time that you need to come before the Lord and ask the Lord to in intervene into your life. Number seven, when your ways are pleasing the Lord, he makes even your enemy live at peace with you. What a wonderful thing. Remember, this is number seven. Remember, when you read this, you know, of all the things that is going around your life, I want you to understand God is still safeguarding you from all the enemy and from all the virus. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, uh, 10 says, Proverbs 18 verse 10, In the name of the Lord, you know, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it. And shall be safe. You know, the righteous knows how to run to the name of the Lord. When you run to the name of the Lord, when you call the name of the Lord, when the Lord is the Lord of your life, not only just in the time of crisis, but also in good time, in all the time, when you learn to honor the Lord. I want you to see something here. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and they are safe. Number eight, to run to the name of the Lord. Let's run to the name of Jesus. You know, there is no other name that was given to mankind that man could be saved, but only the name of Jesus. Today, I believe uh, you need to ask God and you need to come to God to acknowledge Him because there was no other name that was given to mankind, only the name of Jesus. I want you to see this portion, uh, Exodus chapter 12, verse 12 and 13. On the same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, man, both man and animals. And I'll bring judgment to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. Verse 13, the blood, I want you to see the blood, will be the sign for you on the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over no destruction, no plague, no sickness will touch because I come to strike the enemy. Number nine, make sure you have your right relationship with Jesus through the blood of Jesus. 
through the blood of Jesus. Tonight, you know, today, as we are going to have communion together with the whole family, I want you to plead the blood. Make sure you have the right relationship with God. Make sure you know how to use the blood of Jesus to cover your life and your family. And the blood protects you from all harm and the wrath of God. Tonight, let's just partake of communion. Let's come to the Lord and say to the Lord, Oh God, today I want to partake of communion. Communion, I want to plead the blood of Jesus upon my life, uh, that my life will be protected and God will reign and God will touch and God will keep me safe from all the times of crisis because this is a crisis time and the blood of Jesus will watch over me and set me free. I want you to prepare your bread and your cup and to have communion together with your loved ones and God will bless you even as you partake and God will reign upon your life and God will do a supernatural work. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight, Lord, today I pray, oh God, Lord, that you bless your people. Lord, in Jesus' name, from every work of the enemy. Father, you say, Lord, no harm will come to us. Lord, because God will keep us safe in times of crisis. Father, we pray for the break and we pray for the cup. Lord, even as we partake, Lord, bless us that no harm, no danger, no sickness, no disease, no phenomena will touch us. And Lord, the blood will protect us. Lord, even we pray, O oh God, all those who are calling upon the name of Jesus, we pray for a supernatural miracle. I come against the disease. I come against the demons that bring all fear and sickness. In Jesus' name, I command these diseases to cease in Jesus' name and healing to take place. Father, I pray that you protect all those in the for forefront, in the front line. We pray, O oh Lord, for the protection and bless them and keep them safe. And Lord, let the name of the Lord be glorified. And in Jesus' name, we ask for peace. We ask for joy. We ask for new strength. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray.